question. Why is the seawater cooling used for engine to maintain not to overheat? Seawater cooling system, the various cooling fluids with which circulate the engine are themselves cooled by the seawater. The usual arrangement uses of individual colors for lubricating oil, jacket cooling water, and the piston cooling system, each cooler being circulated by seawater. Some modern ships uses what is known as central cooling system with only one large seawater circulated cooler. From the low or high seats suction, there are suction to be opened on seawater circulating pumps, provide seawater with circulate the press water cooler, plate heat exchanger, and jacket water cooler, lubricating oil cooler, and the piston water cooler before discharging overboard. The machinery system fitted on board ships are designed to work with the maximum efficiency and run for the long hours. The most common and maximum energy of loss from the machinery is in the form of heat energy. The loss of heat energy has to be reduced or carried away by the cooling media such as central cooling water system to avoid malfunctioning or breakdown of the machine. There are two cooling systems used on board ship for the cooling purpose. One is the seawater cooling system. Seawater is directly used in the machinery system as the cooling media for heat exchangers. And second, the press water or central cooling system, the press water is used in a closed circuit to cool down the engine room machinery. The press water returning from the heat exchanger after the cooling the machinery is further cooled by the sea water in a sea water cooler. And so we will proceed now in the proper procedure of seawater cooling system. Be sure that the low or high seat suction strainer are in good conditions, that the suction and delivery valve of seawater pump are fully open, that the valves leading to the heat exchanger are also open, that the press water cooler inlet valves are also open, and next, the press water cooler bypass if it's cracks open, the overboard valve are fully open, afterwards, start the seawater pump while the other pumps in the standby mode position and the seawater cooling flow and the heat exchanger as well into the passing to the three-way temperature control valve which is automatically opened by the automatic control with the setting point of the 20 degrees centigrade and be sure also that the overboard valve is open and start the MDPS, a marine growth preventing system. And finally, check the flow of the cooling system as well the seawater pump are in good condition. So the marine growth preventing system is the solution and created with the purpose of debating marine growth, marine organism along the ship's seawater piping line. So it is noted that three-way temperature control valve is an integral part of the electropneumatic system. So when the setting point is 20 degrees centigrade, the seawater temperature exceeds in that temperature, the controller will be automatically activated and discharge seawater to overboard while the normal temperature will circulate the system for the cooling purposes.